Today I'm getting the overground. Does the overground count as the tube? Let's say yes for now. Here we are at Shoreditch High Street. It's one of London's newer stations opening in 2010. It's also the fourth station to be named after Shoreditch. Let's go exploring. The first station to be named Shoreditch was opened by the Eastern Counties Railway in 1840. Six years later it was renamed Bishopsgate because this was seen as a more attractive name for commuters looking to get to the city. It was replaced by Liverpool Street in 1875 and converted into a goods station. Following a major fire in 1964, the station was closed, but you can still see the remains dotted about Shoreditch, even though the original site has been built on. Incidentally, the Eastern Counties Railway became the Great Eastern Railway in 1862, and that's why there's a Great Eastern Street in Shoreditch. The second Shoreditch station came along in 1865 and was built by the North London Railway. This station was also closed as a result of misfortune, being hit by a bomb in 1940. However, it's fair to say that passenger numbers were pretty low and I suspect the railway company were glad to have an excuse to close it. Rather more of this station survives and you can see the old building here on the junction with Old Street. The third opened in 1872 on the East London Railway. The East London Railway was taken over by London Transport in 1933 and became a branch of the Metropolitan Line. And finally, there's a connection with the underground in this video. Incredibly, given the popularity of Shoreditch these days, the underground station was very poorly used indeed and actually closed on Saturdays. It closed down completely in 2006, not because of some disaster, but because it was due to be replaced by an overground station. The overground station that exists today brings us full circle, opening in 2010 on the site of the original Shoreditch station. You see, when I said the original site had been built on, that's what I was talking about. There is a geographical oddity about this station. It's located in what you would expect to be Zone 2, but is actually in Zone 1. This was a move by TfL to help pay for the overground works, as Zone 1 has high affairs. Bad TfL. Naughty TfL. Shoreditch nearly had no station to call its own. The overground station was originally to be named Bishopsgate, which is another link with the original. Tower Hamlet's councillor, Abdullullah, campaigned for the new station to be called Bangladesh as a reflection of the local Bangladeshi community. However, TfL plumped for Shoreditch High Street in the end, presumably as a reflection of Shoreditch's newfound coolness. The area could even get a fifth and sixth station. Liverpool Street is grossly overcrowded, so in 2014 Network Rail proposed the idea of a new terminus to the north, which would put it right next to Shoreditch High Street. It's also been pointed out that the central line runs right under the station, so wouldn't it make sense to put a new station there for the interchange? If anything's going to make Shoreditch a hotter destination, it's the central line, especially in summer. Haha. <laughs> of course, this is all in the future, possibly. What will become of Shoreditch and its many stations? Will the High Street someday join the list of closed stations, or is it destined to expand ever onwards to serve the growing city? Well, I don't know. Hi all, hope you enjoyed this hip and fashionable episode of Tales from the Tube. Would you like to see a tube station in Shoreditch again? Did you use the old station? Let's wrap in the comments section. If you're not feeling talkative, why not like and subscribe? And I'll see you soon for another tale from the tube. Cheerio.